Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back. Hang on, I need to turn on my sound a bit. Because I need to hear what's going on. I need to hear my beautiful voice. Well, more like the beautiful sounds. They're all around here. Oh, no. Oh, that would have been awkward. If I had just fallen down there. Anyway. So we now have a new beam. That's right. Not just no longer the wave beam. Now we've got the ice beam. It's good stuff here. So we gotta... I don't think we have to scan the door. Nope. I'm gonna switch to that. So the ice beam is uh, stronger than the other beams. However, fires much slower. This is me mashing the, the button, by the way, as you can see. It's working well. All right. So there's actually two elevators in this side here. One of these goes in the direction we want to actually go in, and the other isn't. There's some minor details there. Minor stuff to be aware of. They're both very useful elevators, do not get me wrong. But only one of them is what we need. Which I don't know if this is actually the right way. I'm gonna know in a second. Okay, good. This is fine. Alright. See, these plants been the bane of our existence? Not anymore. Now we got the wave beam, or the, the ice beam. We can freeze them, then missile them, and all is well. Alright. I don't think there's actually a lot we can do. I'm used to uh, having a couple... Uh, yes. I'm used to having a couple different items coming this way. But... We will go all the way up here. So you can see this is blocked off by this little thing. And we'll have large traces of bendesium detected. And it's, we're not going to have be able to take care of that for a while. Uh, if you've seen me play randomizer before, you know there's actually a platform we could get up on top of. There it is. Right there. That's supposed to be your clue that you need something else. It's like I could go and grab it now. I, I know exactly where it is, but... Like, we're going to be back in that room anyway, if we're being honest. So, no need to actually grab the power-up. But that tells you that's basically not the way to go. Although I think actually, because I know where the ele elevator goes, and it goes to basically where my ship is at, which isn't a bad call. But I could go elsewhere. Could have other stuff to do. Just throwing it out there. No, because I, I there's gonna be a power up here. We have to go grab anyway, so we might as well. We might as well. And just go on through. Plus, it'd be nice to have this on the map. Get it over with. If you, like, you're gonna see where it drops us off, and we don't need to. We basically we can't really go through there. It's supposed to. I, I think what it's supposed to do is help you point point you and be like, oh, you're gonna need another upgrade in order to get through the area. I think that's the whole purpose of kind of this orientation of where these uh, elevators go and whatnot. It's like, oh, don't think you've found all the items yet, because there's more. I'm actually going to try to shoot some of the red weeds. Make my trip a little bit easier. See, we need those missiles. It's not 100% if we leave those behind. So there's this whole area here, right? This is the wrecked frigate. A beautiful place. If you can hit them with a, a, the ice beam, you can actually just do, so, yeah, just get them with basically with the missiles. A little bit difficult because, you know, they like to fly around. I don't exactly blame them. It's nice to be high up in the sky. But you can see there's injured pirates who have survived the crash just barely. There's even this uh, missile pack hiding in the wall there. 
Not much we can do about it. Luckily, you can just kind of just keep walking and jumping, basically. You'll get there eventually. So we're just gonna just leave. Seems the best way to deal with that. Jump up, jump up. That's the... Let me tell you, one of the nicer things about playing the trilogy version is you do have that spring ball ability. So useful. I will take the refill here just to get all the things refilled. Well, no, I will save because I have backups. Well, I've learned. I learned back in first time through Magmore. It's like, just gotta play it safe now. Just in case something goes wrong. Is it important? No, you're just... I wish it would give me like a different... My watch would give me like a different uh, uh, rumble. When it was just it, when it's just telling me that I need to get up and stretch, and get on my feet. In fairness, it's a you know it's a smart fit watch, so it's more designed for you know the active lifestyle rather than just being a watch that's smart. All right, all right, all right. This has gone well. Here we go. And we're just gonna make our way, because we, where we want to go is back into Fendrana Drifts. That would be, that's going to be our area to go exploring at. Luckily, we're going to go into an elevator previously thought inaccessible. Well, the area that it, it's supposed to lead to. I know where I'm going, basically. You can trust old Duke to know where he's going. It is a little weird though, because I'm sitting here, like I played the randomizer so many times, I'm used to like thinking, in essence, outside the box. Do I have... Sorry, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if I've got everything. Because what do I use? I need grapple beam, okay, that's right. That's the only thing I'm missing to grab uh, the last beam in the game here. Just, yeah, through the fire and flames, it's fine. Make sure we gain just a little ground. Is there really no little platforms I have to go all the way this way? I'm gonna be, it's gonna be so nice when I get the, the grapple beam beam. Just, yep. I can't believe I actually only hit one of those guys because that got sketchy quickly. It was not, it was not a safe zone there. But anyway, I'm so used to playing like the randomizer, I'm used to thinking about where areas I could go based on my current weapons. And I'm sort of doing that now, because I haven't actually played the game regularly in such a long time, but I know where things are at, you know, what rooms are accessible to me and whatnot. And so it's a little bit unusual to kind of be like, to think about play, playing the game normally with the sort of randomized mindset of keeping track of where I've been, you know, what's accessible to me. Okay, yes, yes, that's fine. Good, yes, it's fine. I don't need, to, I don't need that energy tank. It's just getting in the way. Just getting away. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm almost out of water. As it gets warmer, it, get, it becomes more necessary to drink water. That's it. The last of my reserves. Golly, how nice it would be to be in a cold place. Like, how nice would that be? Anyway, so we have this spider ball track, which we can go up, right? But it was blocked by this white door, which we can now go through, because we have the ice beam! And then it transitions back into a purple door, which doesn't make any sense. Just like, it's just there to be an annoyance. Anyway, we're gonna go and do some traversing through this area. Well, it's gonna take a bit. Not that door. Not that door, is it? That's this door, yes! Bingo bango. That door that I had shot actually goes to the bottom of the research lab. 
which is actually useful if you need to go back through there for whatever reason. Uh, I think it has, honestly, more use in the randomizer. That could be a way to get around uh, stuff and whatnot. Other than that... Alright. So, got a couple things here. Gonna want to scan this little Metroid here. This is the, the Hunter Metroid, which is an adolescent Metroid. It is in its teen years. I'm just having the grand time. This, I think we need to scan? Yes. The glider. They have a magnetic structure attuned to common grapple beam technology. Like, that's that's a thing. Like, my grapple beam is common technology. You can also see in the far off distance there, yes, you can see there's what appears to be a missile expansion, which we can't get with our current stuff. But we will get it, as per instruction. This room, I believe which I'm actually doing well on time for, is a save room. But we're gonna leave it alone for now. I want this beam. You're gonna see me switching a lot of beams at this point because there's plenty of times when I need to be on wave beam and then go back to ice beam sometimes for an enemy, sometimes for a door. Then switch back because I gotta open another purple door. Just, it's, it is a problem, it's actually a downside to the Metroid, uh, to Metroid Prime series in general about these beam doors, but that's something I could talk about, I, I, that I definitely plan to talk about at least during my, uh, uh, which way am I going to go? I'm going to go down, aren't I? That's, that is the key. We go down into the murky depths. I can scan these enemies. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, you. Yes. These guys are a little, little fun to work with. Seem to generate their own, own gravity fields. Just so nice to roll and boost. Gain so much speed as a result. Get all of these things done. I don't think I can even... I, I know I can scan that, but I don't think I can scan it for research. I would love to have the grapple beam. I would love to have it, because we got to do some jumping stuff. As a result of not having the correct technology. It's like, we'll still get there in the end. This just would be faster if I had the grapple beam beforehand. But that's not an option. We're at least in the room we're supposed to be. It's the good news. We gotta scan these little tentacles here. What are they even called? Aqua Reapers. They are the saddest sad bones you'll ever see. No, 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 no. Move, move, move. Gotta hit kind of like the, the, oh gosh. This has gone well, whatever's happening here. Yes, yes, it's fine. Okay. Like, it's a little bit difficult to see, don't worry. That is, that's normal right now. Shoot all the stuff here, because we want to be right over here. You can just barely see it. Oh, gosh. Jumping is really difficult, especially when there's a guy who manipulates gravity. Okay. We got what we came for, boys. Gonna upgrade the suit once more. Because Vari suit isn't enough gotta get the old gravity suit. It's actually really cool that they put the the thing you need to move in water well like inside this pool of water. But it does help show the, the, the contrast between when you go through water without the gravity suit and when you do have it. You're gonna even see like my vision clears up stupendously well. It's no longer a hindrance Biology gallery, yes. As you can see, I can now see much clearer and move way better. It's just, where's that? This is what I'm looking for, isn't it? All right, so that enables me to do all sorts of movement in the water, which is good news for everybody. Go up here now. So now we can actually leave this area. 
which is kind of unfortunate because there is a, an upgrade in this room, but we need a couple things to go go be able to grab that. Just it's just part of the Metroid experience. I'm glad that guy didn't end up being too much of a problem. Because he could have been a problem. We're just going to go this way. Go through this door here. And this will start walking us back towards where we need to be. Hello, little guys. Don't mind me. I don't, I don't fight those guys because it usually just takes longer to actually fight against them. Just, it's not realistically worth it in the end to, you know, combat them. Because they're not technically blocking the way. They are a problem in the water without the gravity suits, as you were, as you saw earlier. But otherwise, like, they don't realistically are, you know, are a nuisance to, to in the way to hurt you. They're just movement-based nuisance. Well, that eventually hit him, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I, I was like, I looked like that was a 100 energy, and it was. I needed it too. All right, so now we got to keep on climbing, so we can get actually out of this little junction here. Actually, how am I doing? I'm doing still well on time, but I do need to figure out where I should go. Which honestly, I think is just back to the ship. We got to do, got to do all the things. Gotta find me all my upgrades before we go and recover everything in the world. I actually will say that the gravity suit's actually one of my more favorite looks. Uh, the phase on suit is my favorite of all time, mostly of its color scheme. But I mean, if you want to look at just sort of the basics of of uh, of Samus's looks. Like, I actually like the gravity suit quite a bit. Even though purple and blue isn't realistically my colors that I go for, it is. it looks really cool. Especially, like, when it still has the usual, that yellow and red look. Like, it just looks, it actually looks like a pretty sick uh, color scheme. You don't get that a lot these days, in this sort of color difference of colors as it were. I'm actually going to save. Well, hang on, hang on, can I? Because I don't think there's anything I could grab along the way. Yeah, I'll just I'll just go save at the ship, why not? I could save there, but I have some extra time and I'm not, we're not doing anything else super crazy. We're just, we're prepping ourselves for the crazy bits. That's what we do. Just, no need to, no need to make a video shorter. If we can just just get through all the parts. It's actually a little bit scary trying to do all this jumping stuff through enemies, what enemies. As you can see, very easy to get caught on stuff. Alright, gonna try jumping around you, sir. Alright, fell in the lava, it's fine. Especially since we have the the gravity suits. Uh we can now get have an easier time. Uh, jumping out of the lava just makes makes it less lethal on on the body as you see here I'm not gonna go that way anymore because I have the gravity suit like it still hurts a little bit but I can just go through it like I don't even care like I own the place here as well like you're gonna see I'm just gonna hug this left wall jump around and just up like that in the randomizer, if you have, if you get the gravity suits and the double jump, you actually can just jump basically through that section without needing a uh, spider ball. Not usually typically worth it, but it's worth noting it that you can do that. Saves time. And that's important. That is important. Nobody wants to waste their times these days. No, no, no. No, no, no. I like how these guys can take. Uh, the wave beam if all three realistically don't hit them. I can take the shot. Alright. I'm just enjoying the, the calm scenery once more. 
I was actually watching... I was watching a TV show on uh, Disney Plus while eating lunch. But it's a, it's a show that takes place in England. And... I was like, I was, I was like, look, because you know they had, they have, a, they were having like a scenery screenshots and all that. And I was looking, and I was like, I was like, it's so pretty where they're at. And I'm like, all I get in, in Arizona is dust and cacti. I'm like, most of the natural greenery stuff here is actually either trying to kill me because it's poisonous or because it has. Uh, sharp thorns on it. Sometimes both. I'm like, it's just so full of brown. Brown, brown, brown. And the weeds, while they are green, also trying to kill me as well. So it's a lose-lose situation. I just, I just miss being, well, in this environment. I miss being in a good environment in which there's plenty of water and whatnot. But... Let me tell you, our next area, gonna have plenty of water. Gonna be able to get all the water stuff. Oh, this is a nice chill spot here. I'm actually surprised there isn't a, a like a, an upgrade just hiding here somewhere. The, I, this is where I, I would put like a missile expansion in this spot. But that is it for today. We will go go into the depths of the murky waters next time. I hope you're enjoying your day and I'll see you later. Take care everyone.